hippie stoner music. Alright guys, characters. Yellow guy, green guy, and blue lassie. Who are you going with? Whoop, whoop. So, <coughs> who would like to read the first one? The Yog will be here in six weeks and no one expects it. What the hell is this in six weeks? Then? How can people not expect it? Not a one of us. We just keep living our lives week by week, unaware. Not a one of us. It, it's bad English, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so first of all, alright, who wants to be who? We've got ginger bearded guy, yellow dude, or blue lass. Well, I've been ginger bearded guy and I've been blue lass before, so I'll be yellow guy this time. I'll be yellow guy. Gav, girl, or ginger? Yeah. He's been a ginger all his life. You've been a ginger all your life, you're going to be blue for a change. Been a girl in my life, you just haven't known. <laughs> Alright, you want to be girl then? I don't mind, I, I really do care. I pay no attention to my character. Pick a fucking character. You pick a fucking character. Right, I'll be ginger balls. Okay, you deal with it. <laughs> right, where do you want to go? Ginger for the day. Man. Um, I feel sorry for you. Take me to the hospital. The hospital. Clean up or tend to patients. I was going to say I'm feeling nice, but most of those are nice things to do. Um, I, I know it's I'll clean up. You'll clean up. You spend a week stealing your mind against... Well, you get it. Cheers. You, you spe spend a week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it's clean as it can be. That's because I'm awesome. You gain one mind, one physique, and earn one wealth. Stealing your mind. Stealing your mind it just means to... Like focus. distracting yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's like if something's really horrible, like it's stealing... Because it's metal, it's like hardening your mind. Oh. So it's like, you know, hardening your mentality. So like, if you, something's really disgusting. Yeah, it's like character building. Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, you're hardening your mind. Harder. Push down those wrongs and do what needs to be done. So it could have just said that, but it never. How much I it's basically what it takes. It's an only timey English thing. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more <coughs> more depressing. I can see why. Mm -hmm. Doctors are going to try to convince him to stop, but to no avail. No comment. Try to decipher or sing with him. <laughs> sing with him, of course. No comment. You start trying to sing along with his voice. You try to sing along with him, but just can't hit the right notes. The sound gets progressively sadder and sadder. Punching it starts driving you slightly mad. You lose one mind. Aww. Right. Trying to be nice. It's me. Uh, what should I focus on? I'm just going to go to the... Uh, I'm going to go to Rear for a change. I haven't been to the map. And I'm going to compete. It's tough on yourself. Okay. You spend a week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. Ooh, One night on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Pick it up. Oh, As you sorry. pick up, you hear a voice from behind you whisper, You are not worthy. The dagger begins to dissolve, 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 dissolve into a black smoke. Within seconds, the blade is gone. Well, that was pretty. That's, that's so pointless. Right, I'm going to go to the friggin' forest. <coughs> hunt, chop wood. Uh, I'll go for hunt then, man. Get my meat. You spend a week hunting defenseless critters. Oh, I'll come to pain. Yeah, get a couple of, you know, squirrels, uh, 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 minks. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one well. One night through the trees, you spot a group of cloaked figures all standing in a circle. They are chanting in unison. O oh, mighty lord of the night, master of beasts, bringer of pain and derision, you accidentally step on a twig, producing a loud creaking noise. You immediately stop chanting and look over in your direction. Take them on, run for it. I'm going to fucking take them on. Fuck it, I've got a crossbow, I'm hunting. You pull out a knife ready to fight. They all run at you, unarmed and cackling. You weave between them, slight, slitting their throats as you pass Oh passion. yeah. Each one you slay burns and insane mutterings into your mind. You lose free mind. What great practicing. You gain free finesse. They all run at you, unarmed and cackling. As they run towards you, their bodies melt into the blood. The blood all swirls together to form a giant crimson demon. 
That was pretty badass, says the oh, demon, oh, giving yeah. you a nod. It flies off into the night sky. Your brain cracks from trying to process what you just saw. You are another free man. <laughs> you are now officially retarded. <laughs> <laughs> The, the See the last time the team, the old hey, hey, you had your buried out his hole, yeah. stole lives, what tore family and family members apart. That was so very long ago. Uh, Gavin, representing the opportunity. Gavin, your stats are still pretty even. I'm gonna go to the arena. Beat or bit. Ah, that's good. Well, Man, the week fighting the brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse or finesse. Yeah. However you want to finesse. Every says finesse. finesse. Oh, say tomato, wrong. tomato. I would, I would question Americans saying finesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One day in between matches, you stumble upon one of the higher rank fighters in just in just in illegal strength forces. In just in illegal forces. Please, miss. <laughs> <laughs> Don't report me. She cries. I'll even yeah. share some of my potion with you. It's a girl, quiet. man. It's a girl. Fine. She yeah. has. Gavin, do you take her offer or report her? Well, Daniel took her offer last. Took the offer last. I'm gonna report. See what happens. You're gonna report her. You report the fire to the arena officials. They thank you for bringing it to their attention and hand you a small sack of coins. You gain two wealth. The fire is investigated and receives a lifetime ban from the arena. Uh, I've got the ginger ball there. I'm gonna go to the forest. And I shall chop it. Spend a week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one well. One day you stumble upon a corpse hanging from a tree. That's not very nice. Carved into the tree is written, Now that I'm banned from the arena. <laughs> Gavin! <laughs> Now that I'm banned from the arena, I have nothing to live for. Don't fucking quote you should be. Under <laughs> <laughs> underneath the tree lay broken potion balls. Burn the boy, keep walking. Uh, Agree. I'll burn it, yeah. I'm, I'll be respectful. You cut the corpse down Fuck from the, the tree and bury her in a shallow grave. That's not that respectful, but the problem I'm going to do with Bill That was a lot of work. You gain one physique. Eh. I suppose your cruel nature got just benefited me a bit. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, you fancy bastard, where are you going? Yeah, what, what the hell is for me stuff in here? So That's yeah. like, um, yeah, that's the last time it sleight is of hand, you know. It'd be good for, like, as a doctor, have a steady hand. It's also yeah. agility. You yeah, know, it's it's like, yeah, it's like agility, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean, you can apply it to other things in this kind of game. So I'm a yeah. swift, stupid bastard. Yeah, you're a stupid well, bastard, but you're, you're a dodgy fella. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go to the gardens. The gardens? Landscape or meditate? I'll meditate. Meditate, get a bit of that mind up. You spend a week in deep meditation, or lying on a tree. You gain one magic and earn and two mind. One day, on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. You've had this before. Sell the ring for wither ring. Um. Yeah, it's got a weird the ring, man. It's freaking Lord of the Rings. Upon placing the ring upon on your finger, orange glowing markers appear on the outside of the band. You turn invisible. A giant red eye starts flying towards you. <laughs> <laughs> you go insane with two minds. Mm -hmm. The markers unravel themselves from the ring and swirl in front of you. They form into what appears to be a fully armoured ghost radiating a beautiful orange light. Uh. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. Really what's doing you. Ooh. You gave one charm. Good or worse. It was all as in a heartbeat. And so the stories go. The earth shook. The air went. Still. Oh, fuck. Back to Gavin. Pub. Pub. Fuck out. Pub. Party. I'm going to earn some cash at this party. Party. You spend a week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth in tips and gain two charms. One day a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decide to do something about it. Convince him to believe or challenge him to lute duel. Well, you Answer to lute duel. I mean you sucked at singing, you sure <laughs> lute duel is the way to go? You borrow the bar owner's lute and challenge the bard to a musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination See, of... See, I'm not sure everything. <laughs> the tavern roars with applause. 
The bar tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. Oh, nice. Mm. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the town. You gain one finesse and one charm. Like the jackpot there, man. Um, right, I'm doing well on physique. Um, well, you're doing brilliant on physique. Maybe trip to the slums and I shall fight crime. Spend a week out smart and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, a woman walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely tonight, she asks. <laughs> For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Don't have too well. <laughs> you don't have enough money to feel She shrugs and walks off. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to Daniel. Uh, I'm not worried about can I get feel good for half the night? Uh, <laughs> I'm give you a wobbly, touch me. <laughs> go on ahead to forest again. Forest again? Job with or hunt? I'm going to hunt. You spend a week hunting defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and sell the pills for one level. One day you stumble upon a corpse hanging from a tree. What? Carved in the tree, is, it is written, maybe somebody in the afterlife will appreciate I'm after killing another guy. Yeah. Yes! yes. Well, man, you're ruining people's <laughs> lives, man. <laughs> Why are you doing, Gav? You're causing everyone to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the tree lies a broken loot. <laughs> Bury the body or keep walking. Fuck <laughs> the dead, man. Keep walking? No, you didn't know that, is, that is right. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't fuck the dead <laughs> things. That's, that's wrong. I know a chicken's I try mean, it. I mean, it depends on how long they've been there for. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's still warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's still warm, it's fine. You keep walking, take, and <laughs> taking the time to think about your own mortality. You gain one mind. Oh, oh yeah, nice. You needed that. You want to read this one? And then the world was a howling fury, chaos screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Yeah, man. I'm gonna fuck you all in the songs. <laughs> you have been fucking a lot. Really? You're gonna <laughs> kill someone else, Pick man. Pickpocket. <laughs> Pickpocket. Now somebody's definitely gonna kill <laughs> himself. You spend a week performing petty theft. I wanna do pro proper serious crime. <laughs> you gain one wealth and our two for this. One night you hear a woman whispering from nearby. Fuck off, prostitute. Hey, yeah, she <laughs> calls it. Looking to make a lot of Alright, I can be the prostitute. Yes, please. I'm always out for more coin. Yeah, I've got tons of wealth. She signals for you to go into the alley with her. Come closer, she says. Nobody can hear what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. She's a vampire, I think, she Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> you lean in close, you go to learn how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Certainly, she bites you in the neck viciously. Bail in the neck viciously to simulate this. <laughs> <laughs> Blood pours from the wound, and she clings to you tightly, laughing it all up. You black out. Right, I think you lose all the He is about to massacre someone. That always happens when you're the vampire. You massacre someone on the next <laughs> place you go. Yeah. Come to you. You're just really starting just standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple of things. You gain one wealth. She then melts into the shadows. When you feel your neck, you notice your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain free charm. You lose free physique. Alright. Where should I go before Gap destroys it? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I'm thinking. Somewhere you <laughs> need to go, so choose wisely. Uh, I think I need a bit of charm. I think I'm going to go to the palace and attend the ball. You spend a week attending fancy gatherings. That's a guy that looks like he doesn't mean he's not meant to be there. He's like, um, I'm just going to sneak in here, drink some of the wine that I'm not meant to. I mean, look at the tiny glass. I'm like Hagrid. <laughs> just tiny little glass. This is a Okay. Dude, I asked for a pint! He's Scottish, <laughs> he's Scottish ginger, and he wants a pint of Guinness. <laughs> you gain two charm and one finesse. One day you overhear the jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone will ask, but you don't understand the joke at all. Uh, I will not ask. I don't know why I don't understand it. I'll try and figure them out. Several hours later you figure it out, and a small chuckle is had. All that thinking gave your mind a workout. You one night. Yeah, I'll do that. Right. And... Right, yeah. I've got lots of finesse, and my charm is not too bad, but I've got to go to somewhere before Gav freaking ruins it, so I'm going to go to the Dragon Tavern. Yeah, you may have want some place that will give you mine, really. Bartender drink. I'll bartend. I'll get charmed there, won't I? Yeah, yeah. You get charmed for both of those. You spend a week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth in tips and gain two charms. One day a fortune teller sits up at one of the tavern's tables. 
She offers to read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Oh, yeah. For one wealth? Yeah. Yeah. You spend one wealth. The fortune teller takes your hand and begins showering you with promises of love and wealth. She doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time you can't help but feel that this is all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly poor, you can't help but feel like you've wasted your money. Yeah, that night, while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. There's the love part, she says with a toothless grin. <laughs> then she hands you a giant sack of gold. There's the wealth. And then you hand her your sack. <laughs> Work the balls. <laughs> you gain two wealth. That's not a giant sack. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Still, think of a hack? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just trying to 